Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. 
I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. And the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and the Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silent. So he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, have you observed in our gospel today that Jesus asked the scribes and the Pharisees two questions and at both instances the scribes and the Pharisees did not answer. They remained silent. Jesus asked them, Is it lawful to heal, to cure on the Sabbath or not? 
they did not answer. And then Jesus asked them after healing the man who was sick, Who among you, if your son or your ox falls into a pit, would not pull him out even on a Sabbath? And they did not also answer. Jesus was not asking them in order to look for a fight. Jesus was trying to engage them so that he may open their eyes to the truth. Hindi naman sila tinanong ni Jesus para makipag-away o makipag-debate. Hindi naghahanap ng away si Jesus. Nagtatanong si Jesus upang imulat ang kanilang mata, ang kanilang isip sa katotohanan. But sadly, the scribes and the Pharisees remained indifferent to Jesus. This is the same sentiment of St. Paul in our first reading today. St. Paul expresses his sadness and even disappointment because the Jews, who were God's chosen people, would not accept Jesus as the Messiah. The Jews, who were God's chosen people, waiting for the Messiah, would not believe that Jesus is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. The Jews were indifferent to the truth about Jesus. The Jews were indifferent to the truth who is Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, both our readings today talk about how we could be indifferent to the truth. And if we are indifferent to the truth, we are also indifferent to Jesus. Kapag hindi natin tinatanggap ang katotohanan, hindi rin natin tinatanggap si Jesus. Our whole life is about searching the truth. We study because we want to know the truth. The whole project of life is about the pursuit for the truth. And once we have discovered the truth, we have to allow the truth to change us. Kapag ang isang bata na nagsasabing 1 plus 1 equals 3 ay nag-aral at tinuruan na 1 plus 1 equals 2 at hindi naniwala ang bata, lumaki siya na 1 plus 1 ay 3 pa din, hindi niya hinayaan yung kanyang natutunan na baguhin ang kanyang paniniwala at ang kanyang buhay. Our life is about searching the truth. And once we have discovered the truth, we have no choice but to allow the truth to influence our lives, to change our perspectives. We have to follow the truth that we have discovered. Unfortunately, my dear brothers and sisters, many of us are still indifferent to the truth. And this is the crisis of our times, the indifference to the truth. Many people who, even when they have discovered the truth, would not allow the truth to change their perspectives, their beliefs, and their lives. Many people who come face to face with the truth will still stick to their false ideologies, 
to their belief in the information they got from misleading sources. Many people would not accept the truth maybe simply because of pride. Ayaw nilang aminin na mali ang kanilang paniniwala. Kahit na ipinamumuka na ang totoo, marami pa rin sa atin ang nagbubulag-bulagan sa katotohanan. But indifference to the truth is indifference to Christ. Denying the truth is denying Jesus. But accepting the truth is also accepting Jesus because Jesus is the truth. My dear brothers and sisters, are you open to the truth? Do you allow the truth to change your life? And do, are you willing to let go of your false beliefs, false principles, once you have discovered truth? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we may allow the truth to be part of who we are, that we may constantly search the truth and discovering the truth, who is Jesus, he may, we may allow Him to change our minds, to change our hearts, and to change our lives. Let us allow the truth of Jesus and the truth who is Jesus to reign in our society, in our families, and in our lives. Please stand. Let us pray to God, our Father, who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick and those in the hospitals may be healed of their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Heart of Jesus, speak and mild. Hear, O oh hear. Thy feeble child, when the tempest most severe, heart of Jesus, be sweetly we rest on thy sacred heart, never. From thee, oh, let us part. Here, then, thy loving children's prayer. O oh, heart of Jesus, heart of Jesus, hear.